Hi team, welcome to this week's Action Karate uh, online class for our senior black belts, our adult curriculum. So this week, make sure we're going to be working on our self-confidence, we're going to be working on our nunchucks, we're going to be preparing for the tournament, we're going to be going over our uh, nunchuck cut all the way through level three, and make sure we, before we get started that you have your karate uniform on, your pants, your belt, your top. Also make sure you have your nunchucks with you because we're going to be using those right off the bat. So team, let's go ahead and go and bow in and let's get started. Show me your natural stance. Team, attention! <coughs> Spread your feet, make a fist, cover. Bring your feet together and curse your bow, team. Relax stance, put your hands right behind your back and repeat after me. To build, true confidence. I must have knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. All right, team, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to start out with first is we're going to grab our nunchucks. And what team we're going to work on first is we're going to be starting out in our, our neutral stance, our natural stance. Our nunchucks are going to be on our side. We're going to step out into a horse stance. As we step out into a horse stance, we're going to pass the nunchucks through our legs. We're going to come up on the other side. We'll step out, and we're going to come back. All right, team, let's start doing that on our own. Ready? And go. So just back and forth with it through your legs come back up right through your legs and back bring up your shoulder through your legs catch it and come back three legs back and we're switching each direction each time so spread your feet out nice get into a good horse stance spread out grab it come back keep going team a few more times on this then we'll shift it up a little bit awesome team all right team everyone relax Team, you can take your nunchucks, put them off to the side. I'm just going to tuck mine in the back of my belt. What we're going to do next, team, is we're going to do a little bit of shadow boxing. So remember, shadow sparring, we have a couple goals that we want to work on. One is we want to stay light on our feet. That means we're not going to stay flat footed. We want to be on the balls of our feet, almost like we're standing on our toes. Two, we want to make sure to keep our hands up next to our cheeks the entire time, not down here in the center of our chest. Okay. Definitely not down around our waist. We want to make sure we're right here. So, team, with me, just start bouncing around a little bit. Get those feet moving around, keep those hands up. All right, team, we can do whatever, we're going to kind of mix it up however you want. We're going to do about 30, 40 seconds. You can do kicks or punches, however you want to do it. Right, team? You can follow along with me if you want. So, ready? And go. So, we need some punches, some jabs, some crosses, staying light on the feet, jab cross, front kick. All right, just moving around, keeping yourself bounced in. It's nice and light. Keep your hands up, jab cross, hook. Uppercut, front kick, wheel kick, shift back, stay on the balls of your feet. And keep going, jab, cross, hook, right? Uppercut, uppercut, keeping the hands up. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, jab. Strike in, right? Keep moving, shifting your feet around, keeping the hands up. Focus on the front, just bouncing around nice and light. Cool, all right guys, let's go ahead and relax. So our second round team is going to be doing Back to our nunchucks, let's grab our nunchucks again. This time, team, we're gonna build up from where we started last time. So, at uh, the beginning, we were just shifting into our horse stance and passing the nunchucks through our legs. So this time, team, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, from our neutral stance, we are gonna jump out, spread our legs out, oh, hit the ground, bring it through your legs, hop back up, right? So, again, if you have any knee issues, you wanna keep shifting, just stepping to the left or right, perfectly okay, but if you can do this, we're gonna jump, bring it through your legs, jump back up. Jump, catch it, and back through your legs. Right, team? On our own, ready, and go. So we're just gonna jump and catch, right? And jump and catch, 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 and jump, and catch, and jump, and catch, and jump, and catch. Awesome team, let's go ahead and relax. Again, we'll put our nunchucks off to the side. Team, on this round, what we'll be doing is we're going back to our shadow boxing, and we can do punches or kicks. So keep in mind the different punches we have. So the primary punches you're gonna use in shadow boxing are probably gonna be a jab, cross, hook, or an uppercut. Those will probably be your primary punches. Also, we have our kicks, which could be front leg front kick, back leg front kick. Okay, think of like the jab cross combination. Wheel kick, roundhouse kick, 
Shuffle up side kick, hook kick, all right. Uh, back leg side kick, boom. So any of those kicks are gonna be possible for you. All right, so we're gonna go about 30 seconds, shuffling around, shadow boxing. Remember, light on the feet, mix it up with kicks and punches this time, and team. We're also gonna do some slipping and ducking. So remember with slips, slips are really small movements of the body, heads coming, heads coming to your face, boom. Really quick, light movements, ducking, Maybe they're doing like a big haymaker, hook punch type thing, and you really have to get out of there. You really have to duck underneath it. So ducks are big movements, flips are small movement. All right, team, 30 seconds, kind of mix it up on your own. Ready, and go. So we just keep our feet, light on our feet. And remember, we can do some slip, throw some punches, right? You can duck down really big, uppercut, throw some kicks in there as well. All right, slip out of the way, wheel kick, hook. All right, team, keep moving around, keeping the hands up, right? And we're gonna slip, uppercut, uppercut, hook, boom, front kick, get her back. Throw some combinations. Don't just throw one thing, throw two or three, get some movements in there. Keeping the feet moving, keeping the hands up all the time, right? And don't forget, we're slipping, boom, strike, get all the way back, reset, back to where you are, moving around, keep your eyes focused on your opponent, keep the hands up, all right? Some jabs, big, big duck, throw a hook punch, hook kick it, all right? Keep bouncing and keep moving around the feet. Jab, cross, hook. Duck out of the way. Jab, right. And keep ready. And slip. Jab, cross, uppercut. Right. Front kick, wheel kick. Moving around. All right, team. And relax. All right, team. Last round for our nunchucks are going to be going to figure eights. So, team, we're going to do two different things here. One, we'll start with our nunchucks. We're gonna do a figure eight. One, two, three, four, five. Catch your nunchucks. And then we're gonna to go to reverse figure eights. So one, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll catch again. All right. Then we're gonna switch directions. Go back to our regular figure eights. So team, when we're thinking of figure eights, regular figure eights are shoulder hip strikes. Someone's charging at me, I'm smacking them. Shoulder hip. Reverse figure eights tend to be hips to the shoulders. They're coming in, boom, striking from low to high. All right, team, ready? Back to, kind of back to whatever stance you want. I'll go into a guarding stance, kind of move my feet around a little bit, I'll keep my feet shuffling while I'm doing this. Still working on those uh, sparring drills, keeping your feet nice and light, bring that nunchuck up, start doing those figure eights. Try and get eight figure eights in here, or five figure eights on one side, then catch it, then reverse, do five figure eights on the other. Go five figure eights, and then reverse. Okay, go back to regular figure eights. Again, after you get to five, switch it up. All right, now you do reverse figure eights. All right, team, and then catch. And back to a regular figure eight. And catch. And then that reverse figure eight. And catch. And then that regular figure eight. And catch. Awesome team. All right, everybody. Last round with our uh, shadow barring, sparring. This time, team, what we're going to do is we're going to do our shadow sparring. You're going to bounce around a little bit. Instead of going on your own, I'm going to call a specific technique. So we're either going to do a jab, a cross, a hook, or an uppercut. So as you're bouncing around, landing your feet, I'm going to say jab. If I say jab, you throw a jab. If I say cross, throw a cross with your back hand. If I say hook, throw a hook. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you do a hook with the front hand or your backhand, either one's okay. If I say uppercut, same thing. Uppercut or uppercut, backhand or fronthand. But you're gonna follow along with my lead. So let's get into our guarding stance. Let's get those feet moving, keep those hands up, team. Ready? Everyone, and jab. All right, team, and jab. All right, team, and cross. Jab, cross. All right, team, hook. Right. Hook. Uppercut. Jab, cross. Jab, jab. Right team, stay light on your feet. Make sure your heels don't touch the ground. Right team, and uppercut hook. Right team, and hook jab. Right and jab hook. Right team, and jab hook. You try the other side too. Either way you want to go with it. Right, uppercut, uppercut. Right and jab, jab, jab cross, hook, hook, uppercut. Right and jab, jab cross, hook. Ready and jab cross, hook, uppercut, jab cross, hook, uppercut. Right. And jab, jab, cross. All 
All right, team, everyone, relax. Take a moment, catch your breath, breathe. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into our self-defense. So our self-defense for this week is angle. So at the very beginning of the video team, I talked about self-confidence. There are two types of self-confidence. There's inner confidence and there's outer confidence. Uh, outer confidence is kind of how we stand. It's how we portray ourselves. Uh, it's the, it's the kind of the costume we wear. So we can look really confident. I can stand really straight. My eyes can be focused. I can sound really clear. And I might appear to be really confident, but internally in my stomach, I might have huge butterflies. Okay. For a lot of us, outer confidence is how we start. We start with that outer confidence. Inner confidence team comes from practice. The first time you try something, everyone's a little bit nervous about it, but we have to kind of fake our way through it. After we practice a good bit, we find that we get much more comfortable with it. And the more we practice, the more comfortable we become, the more comfortable we become, guess what? The more confident we become as well. So in uh, a few weeks, we're going to be having our tournament. Everyone knows that we're going to be doing this online. And most of us who are in school or even doing meetings in the office, we are probably all inundated right now with doing things online. Guess what? They're probably not going to change anytime soon. And if you're a student and you, ha and you haven't done it yet, I guarantee you before the end of the school year, you're going to have to do a presentation in front of your teacher or your classmates and on, a, on online. So here's what, here's what I really recommend for the tournament is take this opportunity to try and practice that amongst your friends, amongst people you trust. You know, you can do it yourself on, videotape yourself for the tournament, watch yourself do it three or four times, get the best one you like. If you don't like, oh, I don't like that one, delete it. No one has to see it, right? Watch yourself in here, you're really comfortable with it, and then submit that one as your, as your tournament uh, video. All right, I'm gonna have Miss Danielle come up here. We're gonna work on and go together. She's, she's gonna be my attacker today. All right, Ms. Danielle, so first thing we're gonna do, Anvil is for a two-hand wrist grab, double wrist grab, so she's gonna be trying to grab hold of both my wrists. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna step back with my right leg. As I step back with my right leg, I'm bringing my hand up in front to break that grip. Notice I have my palms toward me at the end. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna kick her, but her arm's in the way. I wanna make sure her arms don't get in the way to, to, to try and catch herself or try and block this. So I'm gonna knock the arms to the side as I kick. As I kick, after I kick, I'm dropping myself down low, down low, bending my knees, bringing my hands together for the butterfly palm, and I'm going to butterfly palm right in the chest or into the stomach, pushing her back. Right. Then I'll stop, stay back as I get distance away from her. So let's try that one more time, team. Miss Daniel's grabbing hold of my wrist. This is called anvil. It is a double wrist grab. I step back with my right leg. As I do, I bring my arms up, turning my palms toward me, breaking the grip. Kick and clear the arms at the same time. Hands come together, knees slightly bent, butterfly palms into whatever target's available. Push, stop, stay back. And once I've got that distance, my self-defense technique is over. Right? And it's not until I get that distance, right? If I'm standing right in front of her, she has a chance to attack. I have to make sure I clear it each time. Thank you, man. All right, team, let's do that a few times in the air. Team, the technique we're working on is anvil. Everyone say anvil. Double wrist grab. Team, what I want you to do is you're going to take your right leg and you're going to step back with your right leg at the same time as you step back with your right leg. Bring the arms and cross your body, crossing the arms up to the front, turn your palms in towards you. Hands open or hands closed, whichever you prefer. I like opening my hands up. It expands my wrist a little bit as I do this. From here, their arms are still up. I need to get them out of the way so they can't block. I'm just going to knock the arms out to the side. I knock the arms to the side and at the same time I do it, my back leg comes up and I kick right to the stump and I Step four, we're advancing into it. Then from here, our hands come together. My knees are slightly bent, my hands come together, and I can push off with my back leg as I drive that butterfly palm right into it. And if you're a fan of Looney Con cartoons, like I was when I was a kid, I always remember Anvil because this reminds me of like an Anvil from a Looney Tune cartoon that's about to fall on somebody's head. So whenever we say Anvil, that's the thought that comes in my head, not butterfly palm, but Anvil. <laughs> All right, team, let's try that again. Now I got to our natural stance. I'm gonna to go to a slight angle for this one so you can see it a little, little bit. So from here, team, we're starting out our natural stance. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna step back with our right leg. As we step back with our right leg, cross the arms, we break their grip. From here, we clear the arms as we kick to the stomach. Drop the knees a little bit, knees are soft. Hands come together, butterfly palms into our target. Push, stop, stay back as we get away from them. All right, let's try that again, team. This is anvil. It's a double wrist grab. Again, I'll start out at 45 so everyone can see a little better. From here, team, 
We step back with our right leg as we block from here. Kick and clear. Hands come together, soft leg, boom. Pop up into that, drive into it with the heel palms, and then stop, stay back. And team, when I say soft legs, what I mean is like your knees are bent a little bit. You're not, you're not standing here straight legged, your legs aren't really stiff. Your legs are bent, they have a little give to them, like shock absorbers so you can bounce around a little bit, you can move, and you can push off, which is probably the most important part of that. Awesome team. So uh, what we're gonna do next team is we're gonna go into our kata. So we're gonna be working on our nunchuck kata. But before we even do our nunchuck kata, we do have the tournament coming up, and for those of you who are gonna compete in the tournament, we are gonna do our traditional tournament bowing. So team, here's what I'm gonna recommend. Everyone start out in your natural stance. Just like this. Team, snap to attention. Great, bow. Take a few steps forward to get to the center of your frame so you're really centered in the middle of your camera. Snap to attention again. Put your arms out in front of you. From here, team, repeat after me. Say, hello, judges. My name is, and then whatever your name is, I go to, and then whatever cry school you go to, ask your cry white hall for me. May I please begin? We're doing this in a video so we know the judges aren't going to answer. We're going to snap to attention. We're going to bow. Awesome. And then we're going to go right into our kata from right there. We're going to do our kata, and then at the end of our kata team, we're going to bow, and we're going to back away from the camera. And the team, team, the reason I'm recommending that you walk forward and walk backwards at the end is because when you look at the video, you're probably going to find yourself like staggering into the video, staggering out of the video. It's not going to look really clean. And you, if you have a chance to clean it up a little bit, definitely do that. Trim the front and trim the back of the video. And if you do it while you're walking, it'll be a nice clean image for you. All right, team, so one more time, we'll just do this from the beginning. I'll back up a little bit, snap to attention, I'll bow. I'll get up to the center of my frame. I'm going to snap to attention again. I'll bow. Nice, strong guarding stance. Team, from here, I'll say, hello, judges. My name is Mr. Keffer. I go to Action Karate Whitehall. May I please begin? Bow. All right, back out to my natural stance. And then from here, I would just go right into my kata here, left hand, right hand, big circle, all the way around. All right, so uh, that's our tournament bow in. We are going to go right into kata, kata level one. I'm going to have Miss Danielle come out here and join us again for this one. She's going to be demonstrating for us. I'll kind of walk us through it as she's doing everything. All right, team. So again, we're starting out in our natural stance. This is nunchuck level one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to snap to attention. Bring, bring the left hand up, say action kata. Action kata. Bring the right hand up, say nunchuck kata. Nunchuck kata. From here, make that big circle and bow. All right, team. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cross the arms, look to the left, step out to the left, and chop. Take your right hand and punch. Come up to your shoulder. Go to your hip, go to your hip, go up to your shoulder. Awesome, team. From there, switch to the other side. Then what's going to happen is you're going to take that back leg, big crescent kick all the way around toward me. Awesome. Not so far, but that's the level two. <laughs> All right, uh, and then from here, we're going back to hip, hip, shoulder again. Switch to the other side. From here, turn, shift your body weight so you're going back to the front, and we're gonna do that big sw sweep down and come right back up. Then step up, feet together to the side. As you, you go fishing with your nunchucks, catch them in one hand. Two kicks, low hip, wheel kick, high wheel kick. Step down to a downward block, and then finish up your kata, left leg. Snap to attention, left hand, right hand, big bow. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm going to have Ms. Danielle demonstrate that one more time, but I'm going to let her go through it at her pace. I'm going to do my very best not to talk through it. Ms. Danielle, it's all you, ma'am. Action kata, nunchuck kata. Thank you, man. I love the eye focus. Yeah, they're like the way going through your eyes are super focused the entire way through that kata. Great job. So, guys, when we're doing our kata, a couple things to keep in mind. Like Miss Danielle, she's awesome eye focus. She found that point where her opponent would be, and she was watching him the entire time. The other thing is make sure you're working on your stances, have good stances, and you have good body control. You're not leaning forward on each of your techniques. Okay. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to level two. So if you're working on level one, I want you to keep working on level one right now. 
But if you're a brown belt and you're starting on level two, we're gonna go all the way through level two of our college today. And again, Ms. Danielle's gonna walk us through this one. So ma'am, are you ready to do this? Yes, sir. All right, so first thing we do is get back to level two. Remember level two starts out a lot like level one. We start out in a natural stance. She's gonna to snap to attention. She's gonna bring the left hand up, say action kata. Action kata. Right hand comes up, it's gonna be nunchuck kata level two. Nunchuck kata level two. From here, she makes that big circle and bow again. Cross the arms, left over right, look to the left, and chop to the left. Punch. Nunchuck comes up to your shoulder, down to your hip, to your hip, and up to your shoulder, and catch it, and then freeze right there. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring those nunchucks up in front of us into a high lock. From here, at the same time she brings it down to trap, she is going to go ahead and do a front leg front kick. Ready, man? Go. Awesome. Now this one, she's going to do our crescent kick afterwards. It's a big crescent kick all the way around. So her back foot is going to become up, turn all the way around. It's going to become her back foot again after our crescent kick. Ready, man? And go. Very good. And then from here is a jump switch front kick. So you're going to jump up in the air and switch with your front kick. Right, man? And go. Awesome. And there. Then from here, we take the nunchucks, put it on our left shoulder. Go from your left shoulder to your right hip to your left hip and back up to your shoulder again. Switch sides. Then change your direction so you're shifting back to the front. You're looking right in the camera again. And then here, make that big sweeping motion going down, back to your hip and back up. Now as she steps forward, bringing her feet together, she's going to do the fishing motion. But this time she's going to do a slight circle on it. She's going to circle the nunchuck around and catch just like that. Ms. Daniel, can you go back and do that one more time for me? So right from here, so from here she's going to step in, bring the nunchucks up. She's going to circle it around and she's going to catch perfect just like that. And then the next thing she's going to do, she's got four kicks she's going to do. She's going to do two low wheel kicks, low and high, a hook kick, and then one more wheel kick. And then she's going to plant that foot down for her downward block. Awesome balance, man. That was really good. I love talking you guys going around with that. All right. And then she's going to go ahead and go finish up. She's going to step forward, bring her feet together. She's going to bow. Left hand, right hand, big circle, and bow. Awesome. Very good. Uh, let's try that again for everybody. So, uh, this is going to be... Um, our nunchuck out of level two. All right, Ms. Daniel, are you all set? Yes, sir. All right, ma'am. And ready? And snap to attention. Left hand comes up. Action kata. Right hand. Nunchuck kata level two. Awesome. All right, she's going to bow. Again, turning to the left and doing the chop. Then the punch. Up to her shoulder. To the hip, to the hip, to the shoulder. Catch. High block. Trap and kick at the same time. Awesome. Big crescent kick all the way around. Jump front kick. And notice how the foot became, went in the front after she kicked it. She landed with that foot in the front. From here, she's going to have the nunchucks up on her left shoulder, go to her hip, to her hip, to her shoulder again, and then switch. After this, she's going to shift her weight back to the front and do our big downward swipe, swipe and come back. Stepping up, feet together, go fishing with that little circular motion into it. The four kicks, wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick. Awesome. Very good. And then she's going to finish up after her downward block, and she's going to bring her feet together and left hand, right hand, and then bow. Very nice job, man, very nice job. All right, All right team. Uh, and next thing we're gonna do, team, is we're gonna look at level three. So if you are brown, if you're under, if you're green belt or lower, you should still be working on level one. If you are brown belt or higher, uh, you should be working on level two. If you are a black belt, first degree, second degree, third degree, working on uh, your advanced degree, you're gonna start working on level three. Ms. Danielle's gonna take us through the first part of level three, which is all very similar, the beginning of the kata is very similar to level two until we get to that uh, outside crossing kick at the end. So Ms. Danielle's gonna take us through level three. So the first thing that's gonna happen is she's gonna snap to attention. She's gonna bring her left hand up. It's got action kata. Action kata. Right hand comes up. Nunchuck kata level three. Nunchuck kata level three. From here, she's gonna bring her hands out and she's going to bow. She's going to look to the left, step out to the left, and she's going to chop. She's going to punch with the right hand. She's going to go up to her shoulder, to her hip, to her other hip, back to her shoulder, and catch. Again, just still, this is still level one part right here. Now we're switching to level two. So from here, she's going to go up high, trap, and kick at the same time. Awesome. From here, team, she's going to do her outside crescent kick. Cool. That's all level two. This is the first part that's level three for us. This is going to be our new move for the day. From here, she's going to do a... Uh, depending on your fitness level, where you are, if you have good knees or bad knees, uh, you are either going to do a spinning crescent kick or a jump spinning crescent kick on this next move. So, Miss Danielle, you go. Awesome. So she jumps all the way around. Her feet land back where they were originally. And then from here, she goes right back into that jump switch front kick. Awesome. Just like that. So, level two, we're going up to the first part of level two. All we're doing is adding that jump spinning kick in the middle of level two uh, between the first crescent kick and the jump front kick. 
right. Ms. Daniel, I'd like to go back and take that, let's do that one more time. Sure. All right. All right, team, ready? Again, level three of our nunchuck kata. Ready? And snap to attention. Sir. All right, left hand comes up. Action kata. Right hand comes up. Nunchuck kata level three. All right, and this big circle with the bow. Cross your arms, look to the left, and chop. Then punch. Then up to your shoulder. Hip, hip, shoulder, and catch. Bring it all the way up into that high block. Trap and kick. Awesome. From here, crescent kick. Big crescent kick all the way around. S jump spinning crescent kick or regular crescent kick if you can. And then from here, jump front switch kick. Awesome. So that's where we're going to stop for the day on level three. Thank you very much, man. I, I think this Danielle, I'm going to have her stay here for a second. Uh, can you put your nunchucks up? So, team, I, I, when I say go high and I say low, I trap. Here's what, in my head, how, we, how the technique applies. Everyone has different applications for other techniques are, so always talk to your instructor and make sure you're, you're working with something they go with. But I, here's the way I always think of this, this move after, uh, after I'm at this spot right here. So Ms. Danielle's over here, she's like trying to choke me. Uh, she's trying, uh, she's going here and she tries to choke me or, or tries to grab hold of me or something like that. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get my nunchucks up here. This high block, I'm really gonna come back and drive into her face, pushing her back. Then I'm gonna trap, and from here, I'm gonna kick that leg out and drive her down the ground. And this is like instant face plan or somebody. So when I do this technique, I'm thinking up here, I'm pushing their head back, I'm trapping their arms, and I'm trapping their arms, I'm kicking out the leg that's closest to me, trying to get them to go down. And if the leg isn't there, I'll kick them in the groin, I'll kick them in the stomach, but if I can get that leg, that's a really sweet spot for me. Thank you, man. All right. All right, team, everyone kind of gather in for a second. I have a lesson of the week to talk about. All right, so team, and this lesson of the week is super cool, right? It's one of these really cool lessons of the week. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and this friend, he loves to go on vacations when he gets to go do some really cool activities. Last time he went on vacation, he, did, he went lobster hunting. And during his lobster hunt, he caught almost 100 lobsters. Guys, I have never been lobster hunting before. I have no idea if that's a lot. It seems like a huge number of lobsters to me, right? And he was super proud of himself. And he was thinking, this is so great. I'm gonna be eating lobsters. And man, he loves lobsters, right? He says, I'm gonna be eating lobsters for the rest of the year. Well, on his way home, he was talking to some of his friends and telling them about the catch. Everyone said the same thing to him, that they love lobster and he was so lucky. Well, he is such a great person and he loves giving back to his friends. So on his way home, he actually dropped off lobsters at different people's houses. And by the time he got home, he only had three lobsters left. And guess what? He thought, well, I, only, I still have three, that's pretty good. And he put them in the freezer and went out for the next day. Well, the next day, team, there was this huge storm and it knocked out power all over the place. There was no electricity. And when he got home and he opened up his freezer, the lobsters had rotted. Okay, and he was really sad. Guess what, he also remembered that he gave out over 90 lobsters to his friends. And that made him feel pretty good because he knew they all weren't ruined. It was all because he had shared. Remember, team, in life, it's not about hoarding everything you have. It's not about keeping everything to yourself. It's about sharing it. Whatever it is you have, it could be your time, it could be your thoughts, it could be your knowledge, it could be anything. It could be your toys. It could be helping someone else get a better job. Okay, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's sharing and helping others. It's caring, and that's really what makes life so much fun and so great and so fulfilling. Right now, I want you to think about that. I want you to share this with somebody else. I want you to think about how you're going to start using it, keeping in mind that black belt mindset. All right, team, thank you very much. Team, we've got a little bit of time left with us, so let's go ahead and grab our nut checks. We're going to do so. Ms. Danielle and I are going to kind of uh, tag team here doing different departments of the drills. We're going to do some Spider-Man chucks. So if you ever watch Spider-Man, the Spider-Man cartoons or Spider-Man movies, he throws out a spider web, he flings that hand out, boom, and he just throws that web out really cool. That's what we're going to do with our nut chucks, team. We're going to take our nut chucks, we're going to hold them in our hand, just like Spider-Man holding his web slinger. And from here, team, we're going to take our nut chucks, we're going to spin them out, and we're going to catch it right back. So we're going to drop it out and we're going to catch it. We're going to drop it out and catch it, team. We're going to do that together. Let's do that 10 times. So everyone back to your natural stance. Snap to attention. Back to your guard stance. Go, all right. Take your front hand, team. Ready? And just go one. And come right back. Oh, I missed mine. And two. Out and back. And three. And back. Four. And back. Catch it. And five. You're still trying to catch it. Six. And catch it. And seven. And catch it. And eight. And catch it. And nine. And catch it. And ten. And catch it. Awesome, team. Everyone spread your feet out. We're going to do five squat 180s. So team, with a squat 180, remember, we're going to squat down, we're going to jump all the way around. We're going to squat down, and we're going to jump all the way around. Now, of course, if you have a knee issue or you have, you're in a place where you can't really do the squats, 180, a squat jump or a regular squat is going to be perfectly okay, too. Do whatever is best for you, where you're at and what your physical skill is going to be. All right, team, ready? Let's do these. And one, two, three, four, five. And a piece 
personal aggression. All right, keep back to your guarding stance. Switch your feet so your other hand is out for out front. Right, team. And again, we're going to be doing our Spider-Man throw. So from here, out and come back and try and catch it. Ready? And one out and right back. And two out and back. Three out and back. Four out and back. Five out and back. Whoa. And six out and back. Seven out and back. Eight out and back. Nine out and back. And ten out and back. Awesome team. And five more squat 180s team. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Awesome team. And relax. Miss Danielle, I'm going to have you come out here for a second. Yes, sir. Team, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a 30 second shadow box sparring round. So, what she's going to do is she can do whatever combination she wants for 30 seconds. The trick is, though, after every combination, I want her to do a 90 degree turn. So if she throws a jab cross, can you throw a jab cross man? Then I want her to switch 90 degrees, one direction, do whatever she wants next, and switch another 90 degrees. Are you ready, ma'am? Yes, sir. Awesome. 30 seconds on the clock, and begin. So you do your combinations. Notice how she's staying light on her feet, not letting her heels sit, rest on the ground, keeping her moving around constantly. Eyes focus, hands are staying up. Super important, the hands stay up. Breathing as she strikes, moving with it. We're over halfway there, team. We're just doing 30 seconds, keeping the hands moving. Going with the classic strikes, the hook punches, the jab crosses, the uppercut. All right, we've got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome, man. All right, team, next round, back to our nunchucks. Everyone grab your nunchucks again. Team, what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do reverse figure eights. So, starting out again, Let's go back to our natural stance, snap to attention, back to your guarding stance. Take your nunchucks and what we're going to do team is we're going to do a reverse figure eight. Remember we're doing a reverse figure eight. Think of it like you're striking somebody from the hips to their shoulder, hip to their shoulder. We're going to do that, we do five of those and then we're going to catch it just like our Spider-Man catch. So we'll do our reverse figure eight five times and then we're going to catch. All right. And after that we're going to do some high knees. So let's try that team, ready? And with me, our figure eights, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and catch. Awesome team. And again, right? And go. So figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. And back again, team, right? And one, two, three, four, five. And that's level three, right? And go. One, two, three, four, five. And that's four. And go. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. All right, team, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and seven, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's a lot of them, and that's eight, team, right? And go. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. And it's nine, the last one for this nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go back, and that's 10. Awesome, guys. Put your hands down in front of me. We're going to do some high knees, team. So bring the knees up high as we can. I love keeping my hands right here. Give me a focus point for it. Ten high knees. Ready? And go. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, team. Switch back to your garden set. Try the other side. Bring your nine trucks up. And again, we're doing those reverse figure eights. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to catch it, and we're going to go back and do it again. Ready, team? And again, we're figuring out hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, catch, and again, hip to shoulder, 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 and catch, and again, hip to shoulder, 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 and catch. That's three, and go one, two, three, four, five, and catch, and again, one, two, three, four, five, and catch, and again, one. Two, three, four, five, and that's going to be six for us. And keep going, team. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back. And that's going to be our sixth one. And go again, team. Right and one, two, three, four, five, and that's seven. And again, team. One, two, three, four, five, and that's eight. And again, one, two, three four, 
five, and that's nine. And last one, team. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back, and that's ten. Quick team, hands down in front of us, high knees, ten high knees, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right, Miss Danielle, you are back up this time. She's going back to her 30 seconds of shadow sparring. This time, team, she can do anything she wants as long as it's only her legs. She can do front kicks, side kicks, wheel kicks, hook kicks, uh, crescent kicks, jump spinning kicks. <laughs> I don't know. But she can do any kick she wants to do as long as she's doing her kicks the entire time. All right, Miss Danielle, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, and begin. And keep those feet light. As you're doing the kicks, try and make sure you stay light on your feet. Try and let your feet go flat as you're kicking. Try and stay on the ball as your feet. Always a challenge for that. Keeping the hands up the entire time you're doing the technique. So bouncing around, moving around nice and light. She's still working the angles. I love that. As for this drill, you don't have to work the angles, but if you can, you have the space for it. Definitely a great idea of working the kicks. No, she's not just doing one kick and then resetting. She's doing two or three kicks. Working combinations. Combinations are so important when we're doing heavy sparring. All right, she's got four more seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job, Sam. Thank you. All right. All right, team, next round we're going to do is we're going to be doing a figure eight followed by a reverse figure eight. So there's going to be some catching involved in this. So again, we're going to start in our guarding stance. We're going to do our regular figure eight, which is going to be that shoulder to hip strike. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to catch it, and then you're going to reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Has everyone got that? Let's try that team together. So nine shocks are up. Ready? And regular figure eight. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. And catch. And then reverse. One, two, three, four, five. And catch. And again. One, two, three, four, five. And catch. And reverse. One, two, three, four, four, five, and catch, and back to regular figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and catch, and reverse figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. Awesome, guys. Team, take your nine strikes, put them on the side. Three burpees, let's do them together as a team. Everyone squat down nice and low, put your feet out behind you, do that push up, bring your feet in, hop up, one, drop down, put your hands down, feet behind you, down, back up, two, down, back down. Feet behind you, drop down, and three. Awesome, guys, pick your nut trucks up again. Back in your guard stance, switch your feet. So your right leg is forward, left hand is back. Awesome team. Again, we're gonna start out with the figure eights. Regular figure eight, then a reverse figure eight. Ready? Nut trucks start out high, and go. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and catch, then reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. And then regular figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and catch, and reverse figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and catch. Regular figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse figure eight. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, team. And put your nine strikes back down because we have three more burpees to do, team. Everyone on your natural stance. Right team, and one, drop down, push those feet out. Do the push up, hop up, super high, team two. And three. All right, everybody, and relax. Team, we're gonna take our nunchucks, we're gonna put them off the side for a little bit. They'll be safe for a moment. And we're gonna finish up with the quick Tabata workout. So, Tabata workout means we're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're gonna switch back and forth with that. So team, our first Tabata round is gonna be wheel kicks. Again, based on your level of skill, your health, your knees, however, wherever you're at, pick the level that's gonna be challenging for you. Level one, two wheel kicks. One, two. Two wheel kicks, that's level one. Level two team, do a hook wheel kick. Hook and wheel kick. Team level three is going to be from our kata. Okay. It's going to be hook, wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then reset. Right? So we're going to do that for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on, and 10 seconds off. Miss Danielle, could you be kind enough to count my time for me? Yes, sir. 
because I know I won't be able to track it. I'm taking my glasses off because they will fall off. All right, Ms. Daniels, give us give, go ahead when we can begin. All right, team, and start. All right, so you do two wheel kicks, or wheel kick, wheel kick, hook wheel kick, all right, or that hook wheel kick, whichever level you're comfortable with, team. All right, so one, two, three, four. Again, just work whatever level you're comfortable with today. Try and challenge yourself to do better than you're comfortable with, though. If you can do five in a row, now that's a good two clue that you should be doing more. So don't just do the bare minimum. Try and challenge yourself to do even better than that. All right, team, time. You got 10 seconds, everybody. And start again. Back into our guard stance, team, and go. So again, wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick, right? All right, team, and go. Wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick. Still bouncing around, and go. One, two. Three, four. Still moving those feet. There go. One, two, three, four. And keep going, team. One, two, three, four. Time. And we have another 10 second rest before round three starts. And start. And team, back to it. And go. So again, wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick, and reset. And go. Wheel kick, wheel kick, hook, wheel kick, and reset. Try and keep the hands up. Don't let your hands drop as you're doing the kick. One, two, three, four, and reset. And go. One, two, three, four. And keep moving. One, two, three, four. And time. Last 10 second round, team. Last chance to rest. And then we can go ahead and do our finish up our last round. And start. Back to my guardian stance. And go, team. One, two, hook, kick. All right. And go. One, two, hook, and kick. 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 Time. <laughs> awesome, team. So team, don't forget earlier we were talking about self-confidence, right? There's two ways to do a self-confidence. One is we kind of fake it. We stand tall, we look strong, we sound clear and confident. That's one way to kind of demonstrate confidence. The other one is to practice. The more you practice something, the more you become comfortable with it. Okay? The more confident you become. If you're a little hesitant on your feet right now, doing your hook kicks and your wheel kick combinations, probably okay. Especially if you're starting out, that's normal. It's the normal way to do it. But we get better by practicing. Every time we practice it, we get a little more comfortable with it. We believe in ourselves a little bit more. The more we can believe in ourselves, the more comfortable we'll become, the more confident we become. Once you have that inner confidence team, you are no longer faking it. It comes out in everything you do. Miss Danielle's gonna swap with me. She's gonna do the next round. I'll get my glasses so I can see the clock. This round team, we're gonna be doing push-ups. Team, I'll give you your option what type of push-ups you wanna do. You can do regular push-ups, right? You can do regular push-ups if you want. You can do push-ups where you get a little jump into it. So for example, you can go down and hop up, right? A little hop into it. Or you can do push-ups and clap your hands okay, if you want to do that. Again, team, find the one that's a challenge for you. So if, if you're just starting out and push-ups are tough, stick with regular push-ups. If you can knock out like 50 push-ups without breaking a sweat, jump or clap your hands. Really challenge yourself. All right, Ms. Danielle, are you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, we got four seconds before we get started. Are we going to push-up position? Three, two, one, and begin. Team, for Tabata workouts, I love Tabata workouts. They're time-based. That means the only person you're competing against right now is yourself. You're trying to do the best you can for the 30 se 20 seconds that we're doing our workout. I almost said 30. That would have been bad. <laughs> Just the 20 seconds we're doing our workout. We got two more seconds, one at a time. Everyone relax. Great team. We've got, we have our 10 second work, rest. We got three more seconds on our rest, two more, one. Let's get down to our push-up position and begin. Again, we're back to 20 seconds on the clock. This is one of, again, one of my favorite workouts because you are pushing yourself against yourself. 
how much can you do? How, how much stronger can I be from I was last time I did this? And guys, talking about confidence, building your confidence, great way to do it. These Tabata workouts. And time. All right, we have a 10 second rest. So Tabata workouts are a great way to build that confidence because each time you do it, you compete against yourself. You see how much you're improving. All right, team, back down to our push-up position. And go. This is round three. Round three with our push-ups. You guys are doing great. Try and keep your back straight. Bring the elbows down as low as you can. Try and get those, break the plane. Really challenge yourself. And time. All right, and we got 10 more seconds of resting and then we're gonna be on our last round. So we're gonna take a few seconds and breathe, catch your breath. Make sure you're feeling really good about yourself. All right, team, we got four seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead and begin. Last round of push-ups. This down down is doing, Danielle's doing a fantastic job. And team, you always work with the level you can, right? If you, if you have injuries, you have something going on with you that you can't do a full push-up, do the best ones you can. You can do you can incline push-ups where you have, you're kind of at, you have your hands on like a target or even the first level of stairs. All right, team, and time. I did not go into action time, man. I know you're thinking that I was, but I did not. I was, I'm, I was running the clock. We kept it at 20 seconds. All right, team. So again, take your breath. Remember, team, we want to make sure we're developing those, those skills, those confidence. We want to believe in ourselves. Best way to do this is to just challenge yourself to do better all the time. All right. So, and I know for, for some, like for me, doing something where I have to do 10 reps and 10 reps and 10 reps and do 11 reps kind of gets boring, but if I challenge myself to do something based on a time limit, how many can I do in a certain amount of time? I find that I really challenge myself and I do it so much better for it. So, Everyone has these training tricks that they use that makes themselves get better. Find the one that works with, with you. And talk to your instructor if you have any questions. All right, team, for our next round, we're going to do jab, cross, knee. So for this one, we're going to be on our guard, jab, cross, and knee. And we're just going to do that for 20 seconds. Again, 10 seconds off, 20 seconds, 10 seconds off. We have four rounds to go. Miss Danielle, whenever you're ready to start, give me some time. All right, team, and go. Okay, so jab, cross, knee, and come back. Right? Jab, cross, knee. And go jab cross knee, right? jab cross knee, and make sure you're pushing that hip forward as you do the knee. Don't just bring your leg up. Jab cross knee, right? jab cross knee, right? go jab cross knee, go jab cross knee, go jab cross knee, jab cross knee. Time. Awesome. And now you have a chance to rest, catch your breath. I'm actually going to switch sides this time because I forgot to do that the first round. <laughs> time through it. All right, so we're going to switch sides and get ready. Go. And then it's going to be jab, cross, knee. All right. Jab, cross, knee. 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 Time. Awesome. Got our, 30, our 10 second rest. We're done with two rounds, halfway through. All right, and jab cross knee, 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 jab cross knee. Time. Awesome. All right, team. Don't forget to breathe. The reason I say jab cross knee all the time is it forces me to breathe. Switch my sides again, hands are up. Go. Jab cross knee. 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 Time. Awesome. That's our last round. Was it Daniel? Awesome. All right, team, take a few seconds, catch your breath, breathe. Our next round is going to be squats. We're either going to be doing regular squats, squat jumps, or squat 180. So remember, regular squats, feet up, keep your back straight. I find looking at the corner where the wall and the ceiling match is a great way to keep my back straight. So squat down, or squat down and jump, or squat down and do a 180. Whatever is strong, we're going to work best for you. Ms. Danielle, are you ready to come up? Yes, sir. 
All right, man. Ready? Set. We'll give you three seconds. Two, one, and go. Good squats, jumping all the way around, get the rotation in there if you can. If you're like me, you might want to switch directions every now and then, just to avoid getting dizzy. All right, team, and time. All right, everybody, ready? Do a 10 second round. And go. Back to our squat jumps, our squat 180s, or regular squats. Again, you're working at the level that your challenge is you. So remember, keep that in mind as you're doing these things. Also keep in mind where you're at. You wanna make sure you're doing something that's appropriate for your at. If you're in the middle of the dining room and you have China all over the place, it might not be the best place to do jumps. All right, team, and time. Everybody, all right, take another 10 second rest. We're done with round two. And ready, ready, two, one, and go. Round three has started. Almost done, team. Just keep going. Don't give up. We got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. That's the end of round three. We have one more round to do, and that'll be truly the end of everything. So, guys, we got a few more seconds before we get started. Three, two, one, and begin. We'll make this the last round. 20 seconds on the clock, team. Still going, get those, try and get up there. Make sure you're keeping your back straight. Eyes to the ceiling, stay light on your feet. So we want our toes to be, we want our toes off the ground as we're doing this. As opposed to sparring, we want our heels on, we want our toes on the ground. All right, team, four more seconds. Three, two, one, and time, everybody. Awesome. Awesome job, let's hang out. All right. All right, team, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, for those of you who are doing online classes, uh, the YouTube classes only, make sure that you make a video of yourself today doing our self-defense technique anvil. That's that double wrist grab. So you're gonna step back with your right leg. You're going to block, pull the arms apart as you create that wedge. From here, you're gonna kick with your back leg, step in, and heel palm, butterfly palms to the stomach, then stop, stay back. So make sure you videotape yourself doing that. Send that to your instructor so you can get class credit for the day. Uh, we just went through our last strike week, last week was strike week, which means we're on our final steps for belt promotion. Belt promotion is going to be in November, I think it's the week of November 9th. Don't forget the Action Karate Invitational Tournament is coming up super soon, guys. Uh, you'll probably start seeing registration uh, information coming through your uh, various schools about how you can register for the tournament. So I'm super excited about this. And guys, if nothing else, you can always say I was there for the very first one. Right? You know, and that's, you know, sometimes people say I was there first one. That's some, that's some huge bragging rights when you're old, like you're in my age. And you say, oh, 30 years ago, I was there when the first time they ever did anything like this. So take that chance to do what you do you can. All right, team. Thank you very much. We're going to bow out. Everyone show me your natural stance. Team, snap to attention. Face front and bow. Team, thank you very much. Everyone have a great day.